welcome back. One thing that I have done over the time of myself giving classes and doing on the water uh, type instruction is, is I oftentimes get the, uh, the opportunity to play with some of the other people units. Uh, some people have hummingbird. Not many people I've, had, I've done with have had Lorance, but there's been quite a few that use the hummingbird and they use it for the side imaging. And the one thing that I'm starting to believe you know, forever and ever, the consensus was that Hummingbird makes the best side imaging. You know, you can't beat Hummingbird's side imaging. You can't beat Hummingbird's down imaging. And I am here to tell you, after a, I'm talking about probably over 100 classes on the water, I just don't believe that that's true. I believe Garmin's GT54 and their GT56 transducers are very close, if not, uh, better than hummingbird side imaging i've been in generation twos threes all of them mega imaging and i'm here to tell you i just don't believe that there's a gap matter of fact i believe that and i dropped my pen there um i just don't believe that hummingbird has the lead i'm here to tell you with the proper settings and the proper seat speed settings and uh i played around a lot on four and went over some areas and then went by the same areas in the hummingbird and I'm, I'm going to tell you, they just can't get that kind of, uh, this, those kind of readings. And then this reading right here, I actually went over it with a hummingbird. I wish I was way to record, but I went over with a hummingbird and then went over my Garmin. And I'm here to tell you, the Garmin kicked butt. Let's take a look. All right. So what I am is I'm in, I'm in a pretty shallow water. And, and I've taken the, the hummingbirds because I did some lessons on the water. And I went side by side. And went down some of these same things and then showed my clients um, they would get in my boat and take a ride and after seeing this even on every one of them that had the hummingbird uh, mega image mega side imaging none of them were as as impressed as they were I mean we're looking at these look at these brim beds on the right side of the screen there and I'm not even zoomed in as far as it could be I'm just you know I'm out there at 65 feet um, because I'm just not going to switch it back and forth. That's just pretty much my standard. It's about 60, 55, 60 feet, something like that. But in each of those brim beds, you can actually see bre uh, brim in each bed. Um, and when I would go by with the same mega side imaging hummingbirds, we could not see the brim of the beds. I mean, we can make out the beds. Don't get me wrong. Hummingbird has a fine side imaging. But when you would go by each of these spots, you would not see the brim in the beds. You would not see, and um, you would not see the detail and the sharpness of those beds. And like, I mean, there's a lot of timber here. I mean, some of these beds are literally on the bank. I mean, with very little, minimum eight, ten inches of water covering them. You're not getting the same, and, and you're not getting the same detail. Now, I know some people say, "Well, it's, it's the boat setup." Well, I've done it on several boats because I've done a, quite a few classes over at Lake Fork, and just going through the same areas, the detail was not even close. I mean, look at that timber right there, beautiful laydowns and stuff. It just shows you also why Lake Fork is such an amazing, amazing big bass fishery. Uh, we had a wonderful time over there but look at that look right there at that brim i mean that is amazing look at that brim bed beautiful you can actually see the brim in each of the beds i'm telling you what i am more and more impressed um the 54 is amazing the 56 is good i still believe the 54 is better but i just have the 56 on the back of my boat all right guys after watching those videos and seeing the <laughs> the great detail that garmin has and i see it firsthand all the time i get to see a lot I'm going to say garments right there. But, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for scrubbing. A little pre-10,000 because we should hit 10,000 today. A uh, little pre-10,000 gift. I have uh, – somebody made me four of these shirts. And uh, they're not expensive shirts. But, uh, they're, you, know, you know, some people may like to have them. I got two of these in the extra large. And two – it's a this color and a white. And then I have this color in a small and this color in a white. Um, let's give them away. That's four shirts, two extra larges, a white and this color, and then a small, a white, and this color also. I'm mean, going to say that's like a gray. Um, I'm going to give those away. And I'm not advertising it into things. So if you're a loyal listener, you'll start to see at the very end. All you got to do is type Garmin Guru. 
We're not even going to type sure. Just type Garmin Guru at the end of your response. If you just type Garmin Guru, you're not going to win. You have to actually get into the video, respond to it. Let's talk about the side imaging. Let's have some conversation. Let's have some fun with this. But at the very end of your comment, put Garmin Guru. If you just put Garmin Guru, bam, not entered. So you've got to watch this whole video and then type Garmin Guru at the end of your comment. And it's got to be on YouTube, not on Facebook or anything like that. And then I will pick four random winners and give these shirts away. And uh, maybe want to put, um, you know, some of these maybe for smaller fellows or your wives or kids. The kids can wear these smaller shirts, things like that. So, but Garmin Guru, maybe even put your size, just put S or XL. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.